Hi again, Canon Danny here. We are here on our Canon Danny studio uh, having a test of the budget road bike wheel set. Since I'm usually reviewing some really cool and fancy and expensive uh, wheels, I was asked to say something about normal wheels, so-called normal wheels. Here they are, Shimano RS11. This is the road bike wheel set that I purchased with my Canon Del K10. The model is 2015, but I don't really think that those wheels would change over the year to, 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 to 2016 model. Uh, so here it is. Um, I'm gonna tell you some details about these wheels, how they run uh, after like three or four thousand kilometers, uh, most of it uh, outdoors, but uh, like a thousand of kilometers at least um, indoors as well. So uh, the front wheel wasn't ru running really indoors. Uh, but I must tell you that this is uh, actually the weakest link of my super super nice uh, bike. Uh, I would really rather like to have uh, this bike um, equipped with Shimano Tiagra but with some better wheels. It's not possible to buy such, uh, such mix uh, stock. Uh, rather than having this one on 105 as it was, I already changed to, to Altigra uh, with these wheels uh, because um, bad flexi wheels can really ruin what you already have uh, on your frame set and uh, you wouldn't feel that much of a difference uh, if I had like Tiagra shifters, Tiagra derailers or whatever. The wheels matter so much. Uh, once more, these are not bad wheels but uh, I would say that uh, you, you just get what you pay for because uh, these wheels cost around not more than $150, something around $130 euros uh, maybe so these are cheap wheels uh, made by Shimano and Shimano say that um, you get all the technology uh, from the uh, like better higher uh, group sets uh, just in the better price I do not agree with that uh, maybe you do have those technologies but those don't work as good as they would on on the higher uh, higher models First and foremost, we have 16 spokes in the front and 20 in the, in the rear. 16 is way too little for, for this construction, for these materials, for, for this design. This wheel is flexi and uh, I would often hear my rim hitting the, the brake pads. I mean, uh, it, is, it is possible to do this uh, with the, any type of the wheel, but I really feel that this wheel is flexy and even though it looks cool with just 16 spokes, you know, like not 20 something, just 16, um, it doesn't really perform that well. So that's the first thing I wanted to show you on my bike because I'm going to take, take um, them off the bike and show you some more and compare them to my older Altigras. And another thing that's happening with these wheels, with the rear wheel actually, is what you see on the cassette. So something here, uh, either the free hub body or, uh, or the axle or both, I'm not really sure, make my cassette really moving and it's not really good uh, for the uh, gear changing uh, as well. So let's now uh, take those, remove those wheels from the bike and we'll do some measurements and some more details. So here, here we are with the front wheel. To make it even more informative for you, I'm going to prepare this one to my older Altigra, which is also Shimano system. The model is R601. Uh, the main difference that we can see right away is the hub, a whole hub, and especially the, the flanges of the hub. Uh, as we can see, this one is uh, much larger in diameter. And also the nipples uh, are being assembled to the rim here and here the nipples are from the side of the hub. Uh, what should matter here is that um, the oversized flange should, should allow for better stiffness. Uh, I don't feel better stiffness on RS11, I do feel better stiffness on uh, the older um, Altigra. Another thing is also if we look at the lacing, uh, this is like a simple radial ra lacing uh, with uh, just equal uh, spacing uh, on the nipples on the hub. Here it's made like two by two. 
and I don't really know what's the reason for that. Um, I don't feel it improves anything because this one, this wheel feels just better. Uh, and that's it. We have um, same rim width, which is 21 millimeters, same profile, which is 24 millimeters, same number of the spokes. And the other difference that you notice right away is also the, um, the bearings, because um, Shimano say that uh, you do get everything that they have in terms of the technology, which is here the angular bearings, very smooth working. Well, these are not smooth working and these were never smooth working. Um, you can listen to that. Uh, you can really hear the, the bearings uh, and on the Altigra you will also hear it, but uh, it will be completely different sound. So um, I do really feel that uh, even though we have angular bearings on, on both models, uh, sorry, um, the materials used for, I don't know, for the balls and for, for the whole, um, for whole bearing is just different, different uh, quality. This one is so nice and I like it. Uh, I don't like it so much, sorry for those sounds on the RS11 and that's just uh, it. It is a cheap wheel, so as for a cheap wheel, I mean, it breaks okay, the stiffness is not that well, not that fine, but I would really uh, rather want to pay like 50, 60 more dollars and have something like a Mavic Axiom wheel, uh, which has super smooth bearing and it does seem um, stiffer than this, at least for me. As for the rear wheels, that's the rear wheel. Um, the, the hub uh, construction is also different because uh, here on the old uh, Altigra we have cross pattern on the non-drive side and radial on the drive side. Um, on the uh, RS11 there is cross pattern both on both sides. Uh, I, I cannot really say whether this one is it isn't that stiff as the, the Altigra. I do feel it in, in the front wheel because you hear a lot when the, the rim is uh, just hitting your, um, your braking pads. Uh, I don't know why, but the, the rear wheel, the rear hub is much more smooth uh, than the front one and that's just surprising for me. But as for this uh, problem with the cassette just moving around when the wheel is spinning, uh, I just don't like it. So I, I'm not saying once more that these, this is a bad wheel set of uh, Shimano and shame for Shimano or not. These are just super cheap wheels and I wouldn't like to save those 50, 60 bucks to go that low. I would rather pay a bit more and have something uh, better. I will hopefully uh, put my hands on some uh, more expensive uh, Shimano wheels, but still not more than maybe $300. And then I'll report to you uh, how uh, do they per perform really on my Cannondale. These just don't match the, the performance of the frame set. Uh, and it's much more uh, important once more than the uh, other components, at least in my opinion. So that's it for the review. Let me know if you are using those RS11, what do you think about them? And maybe you have some other recommendation for a cheap wheels. Uh, I'm really looking for like fulcrum and I would like to fit the fulcrum, also not very expensive. Uh, the Racing Quattro uh, on the Cannondale, I think this would just uh, look cool, are not expensive and good quality. So we'll see. Thanks for watching. Give, give me some thumbs up if you like uh, at least these uh, reviews of, um, of the components and I will see you in some 12 hours. Bye bye.